you know, it's not like we want to make a game that teaches kids to wear pants so that they don't get tick bites. That's sort of a trivial thing. That's not the, right? It's more on the front end. You think about workforce development and training of kids in terms of how would we prepare them to do science 10 years from now in, the, in these kinds of areas? What training do they need to have? And so that's where the, the game we're about to show you comes in in terms of experimental field station stuff. A teacher is going to be able to put their class into a simulated uh, environment where they can go out and interact with the environment, collect data on the organisms that are there, and learn how to interpret that data, manage that data, uh, and represent that data in order to understand how to, for example, test a hypothesis. It's very sort of basic, fundamental data literacy uh, skills that we're trying to build here. And of course, the biological context is ecology, because that's one of the main drivers of the project. It's a multiplayer game, so all of the kids in a session will be wandering around in an environment and be able to see each other. They'll have their own little avatars, they'll be able to see what each other are doing, um, and uh, interact with each other in a basic way in the game. What Landon has built here is uh, an environment where um, you know, there's different what we call biomes, a large area with a specific ecology. And the basic idea, one of the basic premises of ecology is that those different kinds of biomes contain different communities of creatures. And so the creatures that the students will see in there will change uh, depending on where they are. And so right now Landon's got, there's a bunny and Ryan's trying to capture it with a net. And the basic idea is, so once he's captured the bunny, the game will automatically collect data from the rabbit. And so if the, the, the lesson plan is, let's try to figure out whether uh, rabbits prefer forest habitat or grassland habitat. And then you would say, well, how would we know that? And one of the predictions of that hypothesis, for example, and again, remember, very basic is, well, let's go and collect rabbits from the forest and from the grasslands and let's see where we got more of them. Let's count them. That's eventually the teacher will say, OK, in about five minutes, the teacher will have all these controls where they can say, I'm going to reel everybody back in and, and they can teleport them back to the field station or have them come back or whatever. And then at that point, the teacher will have resources that we help we create with our teacher collaborators lesson plan resources so they can say, okay, our hypothesis was that, you know, the different biomes might have different, you know, numbers of rabbits or, or, you know, rabbits will have different numbers of ticks on them compared to deer or something like that. And then the game will create graphs in the station. I can't show you those right now. Um, that then the teacher can say, all right, everyone, gather around in this part of the field station and look at these big monitors. And let's walk through what, you know, what would the data look like if our hypothesis were correct? And they would sort of talk about, you know, and, and then the teacher starts walking them through how to interpret graphs of data or other representations of data using data that they collected just, just a few minutes ago in this, in this simulation.